Guys, I wanna to talk to you about storing tool manuals. Nobody does it. I've been working with tools for over 30 years and I've acquired a lot of tools over my, my tenure. And one thing that I've always done is save the tool manual and I file it for future repairs and part orders. I still do this to this day. You know, while many manuals obviously can be searched online, it is way faster for me to just pull the manual, look up the part schematics, and get the replacement part number that I need. It's also useful when you need to square up or adjust a tool. You know, just the other day, I was um, I noticed that my Rockler Pro Lift uh, router plate was dropping. The setting was dropping a little bit. Quick read of the manual instructed me um, basically to make a quarter turn adjustment on a few set screws. It was that easy, that quick, looked it up fast. Another benefit to saving manuals is proof of ownership if stolen. Who here saves tool receipts? Yeah, okay, they're filed somewhere, but if you do it, can you access them four, eight, 10 years later? Well, several years ago, we experienced some theft of tools in a local Home Depot parking lot, cleaned us out. The insurance company accepted tool manuals as proof of ownership, and they offered some compensation towards that. They gave a percentage towards those tools lost because we could show that we, we had the manuals. So here's what I do. I keep some file organizers in one of my shop cabinets. I store all my manuals in one quick location for quick access. That's it guys, simple tip. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. I'm Rob Robillard, we'll see you at the next tool tip. Stay safe and please stay healthy everybody.